So I guess like when you were building this place, like roughly how much did you have to like invest in this place? Well, here's the thing. My projections had me saving up probably like $100,000 for rainy day fund. Yeah. Turns out that rainy day fund is just what COVID is called now, <laughs> you know? So, oh so realistically, you know, like my plan was to put 200,000 into it yeah. and then 100,000 kind of saved up for, and that's what causes restaurants to go under. Is they, yeah. don't, they don't prepare for GST payments, PST payments, you know, they, they don't pay, they just don't prepare for things that come up. Like this breaks down, you need to repair it. And that was me being smart, thinking I had all this money backed up. Yeah. But in a way it did work out because a lot of places couldn't open up during the pandemic because they you know, weren't prepared for what it took. As a new restaurant, we didn't receive any subsidies, you know, no rent subsidies, no wage subsidies. So I bought this place last November. I've been paying full rent, you know, like I've, been, I've had to pay wages, like, and all my utilities. So it, it's, it's a pretty pricey proposition right now, but you know, we're, we're here and we're happy, so. It's so difficult and it's so admirable that you're, you're going through with it. You're opening through COVID. Have you always knew that you, you've wanted to build a restaurant? Well, I've fought it for a long time, to be honest. I, you fought I, it, what do you mean? Well, honestly, the restaurant life is not the best for everybody, you know? Like it's very demanding, hard hours, you don't really get paid well, you know, and you just have to love it. There's a lot easier ways out there to make a buck, you know? So you totally. have to kind of like to do it. And that's kind of like why I'm super inspired by chefs like you, uh, that you guys have so much passion. You guys spend so many hours here. R&D, cook the food, and then you still need to deal with the business side of everything. It's, it's really admirable. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and especially for you, you're like taking it in God mode. You have to like cook beef ear, beef heart, bone marrow, and these are like really unique ingredients that are very tough. Well, I think that's what's also what is fun for me, is the fact that there's a lot of things that I wasn't allowed to play with in other restaurants, you know? Like I, I'm working at this like fine dining restaurant. Hey, I wanna like throw some like, you know, pig feet and maybe like we can like do some, you know, like this organ or this. And they're like, no, that's not going to sell, you know, yeah. like so wasn't even allowed to try. So now that I'm my own boss, I have my own restaurant, I'm like anything I want, you know, like we sit around having a beer and we're just like, what do you want to play with next week? You yeah. know, what do you want to order in? And we do it. And that's the thing. And it's, it's super fun. And that's, that's probably like the, my favorite thing about this place is how much fun we're all having because there's no limits, you know, and the fact that people are loving it, it's even better.